I just wanted to go real quickly over a couple of things about multi-section rods. I had a request from a subscriber and someone who I also subscribed to, uh, Fly Fishing Ninja. He was asking about um, multi-section rods that have gotten loose over time and he has problems with one in particular that's coming apart on him while he's casting and he was wondering if I had any information on how to fix that and I do I'm going to show you a couple of things to look for uh, and I've just got a few different sections of some rods here I don't actually need to do this repair on anything I've got right now but I just wanted to go over a couple of the causes what you'll want to look for first uh, is the female section and make sure that you don't have um, a cracked ferrule and if you do one of the tricks you can do is to take off the finish and remove the wrap that's over the ferrule and rewrap it tightly some people will even put the uh, male section into the rod and wrap it with it in place to where it's a really tight fit and then they put finish over the top of the threads. If you think you need to rewrap your ferrule because it's cracked, what you can do is look on the top of the screen and I will put a link to a wrapping jig made out of a cardboard box that you can make yourself. I did a video on this a while back. Um, it's really handy for doing little repair work like this and it won't cost you anything to get going on it. Because you'll want to wrap this tightly if it's cracked, what I would recommend is that you add more weight on top of the thread as it's pulling through. On the, on the jig that I show you how to make, I just used a book uh, as the tension for the thread. But what you can do is add weight on top of that book to make even more tension if you need to. Now I'm going to show you what you can do if you have a loose fit and your male section is loose going into the female. What you can do is a lot of newer rods have like a rubber cap on the end of the rod and I had one that was loose and all I had to do to tighten it up was to cut that rubber cap off. That allowed it to push down a little further into the rod. Um, you can also trim the rod if you don't have a rubber cap and that might help you. Um, that's one way you can do it. It's a quick, easy way if you got the rubber plug just to cut it off. And a lot of people don't know this, but when you're putting these rods together, you should always start with your guides 90 degrees apart. So I would start one with the guides running towards me from the view that you got here. And the other side, I'd start with the guide up. And you just want to put them together that way. So once you get these sections together, turn 90 degrees from each other, you'll just push them together until it's snug. And then what you'll do, I've got it snugged in there now. Then I'll just want to use a twist and pushing together steel to align the guides up. That'll get you a good fit most of the time if everything's fitting together on your rods the way they should. And this is the rod where I cut the rubber part off of and I've got a nice fit on this now so there's not going to be more problems with it coming apart. A really good fix for loose fitting ferrules is to use a product like this CP Extra made by Bullard International. What it is is a rod finish. It's thinner than water actually because there's no surface tension or anything on it. Um, what, what this is, is a pre-catalyzed one part urethane and it's super hard. Uh, once it's fully cured, you're not going to have uh, a whole lot of wear to it over time. What you're going to want to do is put this on the male end of your ferrule in a very, very thin coat. The best way I've found to do that is to pour a little of this into a small cup that you can throw away and take a foam brush like a one inch foam brush and just very lightly coat all sides of the ferrule and then take the brush and lay it flat against the ferrule and just turn it move it down turn it all the way around just to level the coat out and let that dry for the recommended curing time 
personally i'd let it go for 48 hours just to make sure everything was fully cured make sure you're in the right temperature too to get it to cure properly what that'll do is just add a little bit of a coating here where this may have worn down over time and what that coating will then do is take up the space that you've lost from where the original finish had rubbed off of the rod which was causing the loose fit to start with you'll just build up a little bit more of a coat here and then that will help tighten things back up if it's too tight you can always go back with a scotch bright pad and just scuff it lightly to help reduce the diameter just a hair then then check your fit periodically as you do that to make sure you don't take it down too far so that's three different ways of doing it there's an old timers trick of using paraffin wax on the ferrules and a lot of people did that especially on the metal ferrules and it, that does work and it, it can actually tighten up a loose ferrule or make one that's too tight a little easier to slide together. The, the problem with that is sometimes if you have a really tight fitting ferrule and you've put some paraffin wax on it, it can actually cause the two sections to sort of bond together to where it's very hard to get them back apart. And if your fitting was too loose and you've got a, a coating of that paraffin wax on there, it can get to the point where it's picked up dirt and sand in that wax and it's sticking to the wax so then every time you slide your two sections in and out from each other you're basically sanding down the two sections and you know that that's something if you want to use paraffin wax to tighten one up a little bit just be aware that you need to make sure every time before you put that rod together there's not any grit in that wax uh, it might even be best to do it just to bring the wax with you put a quick coat on it and then use something to get the wax back off when you get home uh, some kind of a solvent or something to take that wax back off just to make sure you don't get any grit and grime build up on the rod where they're sliding together that would cause wear Another tip I'd have to say would be to make sure that all your connections are clean at all times. Uh, always make sure that your male section's clean and that your female section's clean uh, before you start putting things together. Um, any kind of dirt or anything in there can cause problems with wear. So that's just some things I thought uh, I'd go over real quick that might help somebody out. Uh, if anybody has any other questions or a special case that you think is unique that you might want to bounce some ideas off of somebody, I'd be happy to help with that if I can. And if anybody has any other ideas on this too, I certainly don't know everything. I've done some of this type of work, but not a whole lot. And I'm sure there's people with a lot more experience than I have with it. So if anybody has any tips or anything like that, just let us know in the comments section. And that's all I've got for now, guys. Tight lines. Everybody have a safe and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we will talk to you all later.